WVPH 90.3 The Pulse of the Scataway High. It's Ijama. And this is Eli. And we're on with the dream. How are you doing? Hello. <laughs> hey, we got a few questions for you, okay? Go ahead. I got them. I'm ready to go. <laughs> All right. Uh, during the process of naming uh, your sophomore al- album, why did you name it Love vs. Money? I named it Love vs. Money because um, coincidentally, that's basically where I am. I'm at a crossroads right now with, with those particular things. Um, a lot of a lot of money, you know, and, and when you're trying to look for love, it's, it's kind of, it's very hard. So so it's basically, it's, it's what I wake up to do. Like, am I doing it out of love or am I doing it, you know, out of the, out, out of trying to get more money? And I make sure that I keep myself very grounded and do it for the same things that I was doing it for before I got here which is love, but I, I think I posed a question because I wanted to know what everybody else do it for, you know, what they wake up for, you know, and to put one against the other. And depending on which one you pick, you know, and how you wake up and go about your day and how you treat people basically kind of dictates what type of person you are. So just a question I'm asking myself and just a question I'm asking everybody else, especially in their relationship. Okay. Um, in the past, I heard a few tracks where you rapped. Um, do you see yourself venturing into other genres? Do I see myself as what? Say again. Venturing into other genres. Oh wow! Um, as an artist, or just as a songwriter? Because I think as a songwriter, I've already kind of like I'm everywhere. As an artist. As, yeah, as an artist, uh, that's kind of hard to say. I kind of like where I am right now, which allows me to kind of do um, do everything to a certain you know level. I, I mean, I may not do a country record as of right now. I'll write one, but I won't. I won't do one as an artist because I don't think that my fan base supports that, and that is that isn't that isn't what my music is about. Um, but I mean, uh, I mean, of course, you know, rock. I'll probably do a rock record. I'm sure that I will. It's going to come a time, um, but just not so far. I won't go so far that you that that I'll you know make make my fans mad. And the reason why you know why I'm doing certain stuff. Okay. Um. Uh, what would be one of the ways that you could become recognized by artists as a good writer? Like, what would be your advice to aspiring writers? To find writers. To aspiring writers to be, like okay. people and be like you. To, right. Um. Well, I think my my way would be it is more so, more so that what actually what I would tell like writer other writers is just stick with it. You know, it takes a while. You know, being a songwriter is, is different than anything. You know, you probably could be an artist quicker than you could be a songwriter because you have to really get good at what you're doing. You know, it's not easy, you know, writing these songs. But once you get it real, a long career. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. I got dropped. Thank I'm you back. for calling back in, okay? Yeah. Um... No, that's all good. Um, yeah, back to that question, just to inspire them. But you just stick with what you're doing. It's going to take a while, but but you, you you you'll definitely get to where you're going if you have it. You have it. Make sure you surround yourself with people that'll tell you the truth, no matter how hard it may feel or a sound coming in. Make sure you surround yourself in, in whatever venture you're trying to take on. Surround yourself with people that'll tell you the truth about what you're doing. Okay, um, we got two more questions. Um, okay, being an artist and a songwriter in life, do you prefer behind the scenes or in the spotlight? Um, wow. Well, there's certain things that I want out of life that, that no matter what I'm going to do, I have to be in the spotlight. So it's something that I've just had to just accept. You know, I don't think you can become a billionaire without being a certain part of the spot. Everybody knows who a billionaire is, no matter whether they've been on TV once or twice or never been on. So what I want out of my life and how I'm going to get there, I have to go through the spotlight to get to it. Um, there's, you know, I don't have, I'm not in a generation where, my grandfather is going to leave me a billion dollars, so that means I have to go and make it, and I can't make that type of money in the dark. So, okay. spotlight, here I am, you know. Okay. Um, when you write songs, do you have, like, a particular artist in mind, or do you just let your mind write? Oh, yeah, I don't have, like, we try to make sure that we keep the, uh, the creativity um, flowing, and all. If one of the ways that we do that is just by not, you know, not usually like having a plan, just kind of like going in there doing whatever, and whatever song comes out, we figure out who the artist is that's going to be the best one to sing it. So if it's something for Sting, we say this is a Sting record. If it's something for Rihanna, it's a Rihanna record. So, And that's how it goes. Okay, thank you. 